Hello people, my name is Gonzo and this is uh, my first trip on this new truck that I bought, a Volkswagen Transporter. Um, I'm going to Mertula, first time ever uh, to sleep in the van. Uh, let's see how it goes and uh, hopefully I'll do this way, way, way more time. Now we are near Almodovar. Oh shit. And the I, I'm finally off the main road, which is that one. So what that means is, like, it was super traffic. It's the summer, so now finally I can make some take some footage. Uh, I went in the worst uh, time ever. It's full of fires, but uh, I think we're gonna make it. I believe we're gonna make it so I hope you enjoyed this video this is my first video I'm hoping to do a, a, a series of videos maybe once a month I can I can uh, get off my my job and drive a little bit around and try to see new places and this is the first one and I chose it's uh, two kilometers away from where I live unfortunately uh, I could. I, I was in such a, a rush because of my job that I could not film uh, the, the preparing of this trip. But this is basically a guerrilla style van life. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll try to find a nice place to put the camera to film some of the way. This road definitely, is, definitely is a, a lonely road. <laughs> No cars around, it's like completely different from uh, the road I was in. And uh, it's. Uh, we are near Algarve and uh, entering uh, Alentejo. So. We should be. We should be at the spot that we want to go at least in one hour. I hope so, because I, I really don't want to get there at night. The road is kind of tricky, I don't want to go during the night. So, as you can see, we are in the middle of fucking nowhere, not even a car passed by since I don't know when. Look at this. Completely silence. It's, it's incredible. Incredible. Here's my beautiful truck. <laughs> So, the trip is going great, already have to ask directions two times, already crossed the cop car, but they're here in Alentejo they're all very nice people, I have to say. Okay. The journey is almost ending, uh, I still have maybe 40 minutes of uh, daylight and then it's going to be night and I still have 40 kilometers to, to go, which is uh, quite a lot. I was expecting to get here early, but uh, the road uh, didn't let. Uh, but still, this is a very, very, very nice drive. Like, you have all the open fields uh, of Alentejo, it's like so beautiful, look at this. It's, it's just amazing, you know, like, look at that. The road is like, kind of wobbly, but no problem, it's good. I can't focus this while I'm driving, but yeah, you get the, the idea. Wide open spaces, just like America. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm having a great time driving through here. Like uh, I never met, I never once passed through here. It's pretty amazing. I'm sorry for my English. It's kind of bad, but uh, yeah, I'm Portuguese. I, I do, I do what I can. It's uh, fucking hot, it's like 35 degrees Celsius uh, and supposedly tomorrow it's gonna be 40 to 45, uh, let's see, but we, we, we will be like near the river so everything, I think everything will be fine. Uh, so I'm gonna keep traveling, it's a lonely road, like <laughs> no fucking cars almost, it's like one car every 20 minutes. 
but it's great, it's great. Uh, oh, fuck, it's really cool. If you have the chance and you don't know Portugal and you come to Portugal, uh, come to this place. Almodovar is the, the, the nearest town that I passed by, yeah, where I asked the directions. Really cool city, really Algarvian style, Alentejo, like a lot of olive trees everywhere. Very nice. So I'll see you in a bit. And just look at this place. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And my pizza boxes. <laughs> so I finally reached the destination, but as you can see, it's fucking dark. <coughs> Tomorrow I'll show you. What? <laughs> so tomorrow it's a new day. See you. See you then. Oh, and it's fucking 35 degrees, and it's fucking night. I'm I'm sweating all over, and I'm gonna sweat here as a motherfucker. I hope I'll be woke uh, at around 6 a.m., 6:30, and take a swim because this place will feel. I'm not alone. Like there's people there making like a lot of noise, but oh, we'll make it. We'll make it. We're just gonna get drunk tonight and smoke a joint, and tomorrow we'll see. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. This is the spot where I slept last night. I kind of drank a lot of beer, and uh. I couldn't quite <laughs> get the the floor like very comfy, so I slept on the hard floor. It's kind of rough. Kind of feeling headache, but it should be fine. Fucking peaceful place, and it's not so hot. It's like eight in the morning. Like in the night it was way 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 harder so here am I eating pizza for breakfast sorry for if anything is out of focus I'm only using one hand and I can't get this out of focus shit to run properly by the way yesterday I was sitting there with my chair and the water was so strong like there, there was such a, a strong current and it was coming from here to there I initially was there but the current got so high that I <coughs> I have to move and the water was so hot oh god you should this is something made by god dude come on it's beautiful Oh shit, the water is so cold here. Oh my god. It was so fucking warm. Last night. Oh, it's getting warmer, like someone pissed in on it. Dude, this thing is sketchy as fuck. The rocks are all weird. Heaven on earth. I'm glad that I make it here. I wasn't hoping for this. I was hoping for way less. Here, and I find this, this beautiful place, Bertula, fucking amazing, man. Dude, fishes are fucking flying off the water and they're fucking huge. Oh yeah, I got one. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, and there it goes, fuck. Now, we're gonna get to the city and try to see what the city has to offer 
I don't know if it's called city, but it's it's way bigger than uh, than what I, I was thinking. Like I was thinking this was going to be like a very small place, no civilization at all. But last night when I when I arrived, like yeah, that there there's some civilization, there's some people here for sure. This is it, built on the fortress. God, I'm so hangover. <laughs> There's the place where I initially thought of sleeping. I'm glad I didn't. All concrete, no nature. Nah. So we are now at the other end of this beautiful city. The heat is starting to get intense, let's say. And I already drank some coffee to see if I can wake up. Because I, I'm still kind of groggy. I'm currently near a church. Which is just right behind me. Uh, the door is all open. But I don't know if I want to enter there. I mean fucking devilish tattoos <laughs> mm, let's try it so my new journey here has ended <clears throat> I'm hoping I still don't know um, I have the lust for hunting uh, meat, like a game meat. I would like to launch like wild pork or something. But it's fucking 10 a.m. It's way too early to get food lost. Like I should have made, I, I thought like uh, just, just planning one city would be enough. But I should have planned like some other cities because yeah there's no much to see there's a lot to see if you really focus and interest but yeah just like in half an hour uh, it's, I walk through the whole city only one market open where I could buy a fresh coca-cola it tasted like heaven so whew, and it's super hot 35 degrees now, Celsius and rising I'm gonna head home and uh, hopefully I'll find some place to shoot <laughs> I want to shoot my gun so one last beer for the road It's hot, but uh, it's cool. It's cool hot. Yesterday was worse, I believe. There was a change of plans. I believe that we have to be spontaneous sometimes, and uh, that's what I did. So I was thinking I was going to head back home south, but no, sir. Uh, there is this road. Uh, is it's also a landmark. Uh, the National 2 road, it's uh, the third biggest road in the world and as I was heading home I just saw that Na National 2 and I was like nah, uh, I, have to, I have to go, I have to go there, I have to make it <laughs> so I'm going, I'm now in Castro Verde and I'm going to the next town uh, Altustrel and eat something there and then maybe go up a little bit more or head back home I still don't know so I just went for a swim after lunch in Alzustrel pretty good lunch fucking full and then I was following the road and I like well where will the road take me and so the road took me here <laughs> and it's beautiful so it's Barragem do Rocho, 
Look at this shit, it's like loneliness forever. Such a quiet place. The only people that are here, it's me and those guys in the... I don't know if you can see them, but it's the only thing, then it's only loneliness. Such peace and quiet. It's really good.